Welcome back to Deja's Dynasty. It's your girl Deja, and I'm back like I never left before, honey. What's up? Welcome. If you're new, let me turn that off. That's so annoying. But I'm on the road lately. I've been doing a lot of vlogs. You know, I have not been in the mood to do like sit down. But I do, I do have um two sit down videos that I have not posted. I know I keep mentioning it, but not posting it. Okay, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. I swear to God, I'm going to get to it. But anyways, um, I'm just here, like, and peep that I'm wearing a different color. I want y'all to look at the fact that I'm wearing a different color. Like, most of my thumbnails came with, like, black hijab, black scarf. And I'm like, I need to wear something different. And I'm like, this is different for me because I just don't do this. I don't, I don't do different. So... At this point, I'm just um, trying to run a little errand. My laptop kind of cracked like really badly, so I put it. I just took it to Best Buy, and it's gonna be. It's gonna take two to three weeks. Like I'm not in school, so it works, you know. Ooh. Anyways, I'm working on a little something, but enough about everything. I'm not. Good. There's nothing really to get into, but just get into this look. Honestly, I'm not really feeling the look. It's not really giving me what it was supposed to give. Like, the way I thought it was going to look, it didn't look that way. I don't know what happened, what went wrong. But somewhere along the lines, it didn't. It just didn't connect the way it needed to connect to give me that off-like feeling. So, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm just chilling. I just, I just wanted to sit down and talk to y'all a little bit not much but just protecting your about protecting your peace your everything that you love you need to protect that um experience especially lord have mercy my words especially when the people when people have the tendency to do it like if they've been doing it i'm i'm pretty sure people have grown but like life is too short okay and i'm pretty sure i've gave some negative energy bad vibes to people i probably was going through some things and and if they choose not to ever be around me i don't blame them because sometimes it just takes that first impression or you know it just takes a time where they actually need you to for you to actually perform who you are and who what energy you give off and it's okay like i'm pretty sure i've was just i be in my own world i be doing my thing and you're just not feeling my energy and that's okay and vice versa so that's what i'm learning to do right now um just being a mother is just so hard it is so so hard and i don't know how act how people do this alone like how like me and my husband be chilling sitting down playing or oh, with my daughter of course and we're like, how do people do this by themselves? Like, I would definitely be bitter. I'll be, I'll be bitter. Like, I'm no cap. I'll be bitter. And it's not even the fact that I'll be bitter like, dang, why couldn't you be the person that was best for me? Like, why are you sitting here doing things with your new boo that you, why couldn't you be good enough for me, for us to I don't even want you, like, for real. Because you're not what I need, but why couldn't you be good enough for us to become a family like why couldn't you work for me why couldn't you just change or be you know what i'm saying i'll be bitter because it's hard like i'll be like it's hard it is very hard it takes a lot of patience and i don't have patience like that and it takes a lot of it you're gonna have to repeat yourself i'm i'm learning how to be i'm learning how to communicate and be patient and understand that she's just a child sometimes i'm like is she okay does she got does she's is she autistic is she this but like that's how kids are and like my good old friend was like girl the kids are like they don't listen and i'm just like okay okay it's gonna take some time like it's gonna it's gonna take some time but yes um it's just yeah my space i feel like i don't want to be around i, I especially don't want to bring my child around people that i don't like if you don't if we cannot then we could not we can't if we could not we cannot especially now and 
I'm trying to protect that. I'm trying to limit where I go or where I take her. Not every space is a child's space. You know what I'm saying? And I can go out and have the best time of my life with these people, but that's but a child does not necessarily have to be there. Not necessarily saying that maybe there's alcohol or none of that. It's just the space and the energy. And I only want my child to be around people who I consider my village. Okay. And people that I consider my village are people that um, would discipline her in a way that wouldn't make me feel some type of way. Like if I know you, you would discipline, discipline your child differently than how you would or even worse. But respectfully because I respectfully because I would never disrespectfully discipline your child so it's just all about respect and um, I know you love your child more so it, for you to discipline for you to love your child more and discipline my child in a way that she knows that you don't but F with her it hurts it does so I'm trying to, I've, I've been through a lot just going up around my mom's friends, how they were like, they would, oh, they would tell me some of, some of them, like half of them would be like, oh my God, I'm not your mom. Like they would tell me, oh, I'm not your mom. Make it very clear that they're not my mom. It could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing. I could have been disrespectful. I could have been anything. But if you let me know that you're, you, you are not my mom. I was off like that's something I would never want somebody to tell my child if you tell my child I am not your mama then you don't have the right to discipline my child I will take every any kind of it don't matter what it is I'll take offense to it because you've made it clear that that is not your child and you never know I might not be the best at that time like I might not be the person that my child needs at that time and for me to be, bring my child around you, if you couldn't even be that mother that she needed at that moment for her to con just be comfortable with you and for her to receive that same love and discipline or tough love from you, if you have to tell her that you are not her mom, then most likely you're trying to prove a point that, or prove to her that, okay, whatever your mom was letting you do, you're not gonna, and you don't have that right. Like, you don't have that right to go over what I do and that's on period so I'm learning to protect that um, I am very sensitive and I want it to be known so that way you just be on it and I don't want people to be on their eggshells but just be respectful like I would never just disrespect anybody's kid kid or you in that matter because I know how it feels and if I ever did I would probably catch myself and they, they had to have had disrespect me I had kids disrespect me and I'm just like and I'll tell the mama and they'll be like, what did you do? I'm like, this little kid just called me a bee and you're asking me what I did. And nothing, I don't know, it's just, and it was not, I was young, I was like 10. Not even 10, I wasn't even here when I was 10. It was, it was like when I was like 13, 14 and I would tell, oh, your, your child just said this. And they were like, and they wouldn't tell anything to their child, but then they will come, oh, you had to have done something. I'm like, girl, bye about ain't nobody stunting you or your kids okay and yeah like treat people the way you want to be treated treat other children or to other kids the way you would want to get your girl can't i can't but treat other children the way you would want people to treat your children and that's on period and that i would never i could never if you're not in my village you cannot discipline okay I'm protecting my space. I don't even feel comfortable around the people that I call that come from my place. I would I would trust the government, the daycare before I trust. And that's how bad it is at this point because you get too comfortable and you just you don't do what you're supposed to do. Like this is my child, okay? I don't know how it became about that, but protect your space. Protect your space. That's that's the way for it. Protect your space. Protect your space and just do you, boo. Do you. Like, I'm ready to go. I'm I'm standing in Panda Express, but I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. So that's all for today. Thank you for sitting down on my little rant. Send a message. Love on me and I'll love on you. We can have play dates. Don't be scared. Just be respectful. Learn how to be respectful. We can have play dates. 
Like, I'm still working on me too. So if you don't like the way I mother, show me. Show me. Just you don't have to tell me. Just be. And I'm gonna be like, oh my goodness. Like I'm always ready to improve. I'm always ready to improve. And that's one thing that I wish my parents were like, even though they knew the truth, something with their ego would just tell them like that, well, I'm sticking with them. Always be ready to learn. Never I'm never too embarrassed to fix my sh my situation. And if there's a better way of doing things, I'm all for it. Just show me. Don't work with me, okay? Anyways, that's basically it for today. Um, my baby's about to wake up, if you can see. Yeah. Yeah, let me go ahead and enjoy some peace and quiet. And I will see y'all in my next video.